world's most popular app right now is pioneering a new age of instant attention, and young creatives are leveraging this attention to make their lives better. This week, it's how TikTok connects young people to better lives. My name is Tracy Ikopitz, and welcome to Tech Connect. In an era defined by rapid technological advancement, disruptive platforms like TikTok have emerged as powerful tools that not only entertain, but also reshape the lives of countless individuals. One shining example of this transformative potential is the rise of young creatives like Mike Seems Too Funny, who have harnessed the power of these platforms to not only express themselves, but also carve out a better life. Yeah, the, the, the house is quite messed up because today is a Sunday and Sunday is a shooting day. Uh, these, are, these are the equips, so we, we're going to be shooting in a few. I believe I'm, I'm, I'm the only TikToker in Uganda who's monetized. Yeah, because uh, I was verified because of my content. Yeah, I'm the only content creator or I'm the only, as you people term us, though I hate it, I enjoy it when someone calls me a comedian, but there is no way I will change that because it's TikTok which brought me to the spotlight. Uh, I always said this, but uh, a lot of people hate it. I'm the reason to why TikTok uh, trended in Uganda because I, 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 I played a big role through my face that and, and had my skits and stuff. So I believe a lot of people downloaded TikTok because of me. And I think that's why P TikTok itself reached out to me and they asked me for my details to verify my page. I believe a youth like me won't invest 50M in this equip. All they will care about is driving good cars. But me, if I invest in my content, I believe it's because I love the content, yeah. And um, what makes me different is um, because me, as it makes it seems too funny, I'll, I'll put it back on the branding side of it. I said, if you brand yourself well, the way I'm, I, I brand myself or the way I put out myself, the way people, the perspective people see me in makes me different. Yes, I'm a TikToker, but I believe I have someone out there who's yearning to be like me, a mere TikToker. Mike Seems Too Funny's rise to fame is a tale of talent, authenticity, and impeccable comedic timing. The, the first four or five videos I posted, people really didn't, didn't take me serious. But after posting my seventh video and uh, a few artists, uh, more so Epas. Epas overposted my work on his pages. I would say he promoted me a lot. When he started posting my work, I think that's how I started to get traffic coming on my TikTok. Yeah, because whenever he posted my work, he used to say, you should check out this guy, he's really us and stuff. So people came in. I'm from Epas's page. I'm from Epas's page. With the filter, the unhappy yeah, filter. The filter. That's mm. fun, fun yeah, it's very funny. A lot of people, remember, people didn't know about TikTok, as a few of us did. So I believe people thought that was my real face. <laughs> I have quite a few factors to why I had to switch. You know, I believe in Uganda when you're, you're somewhere, you have to switch for the people to be on your side or to be with people. Uh, in Uganda, when you stick on one thing, trust me, you will lose people. Yeah. I mean, people get used to something quick, but better mama angu, you get. So I had to give a try to, oh, I had to venture in something new. So that's, that's how I started doing skits. And actually, I was still blowing when I switched and it affected me, but I always trust the process. You know, even me coming into the filter, people didn't believe in it at first, but after, after a few months, they did. So I was like, okay, let me switch. I know I'm going to lose people, but I believe they will come back and also believe in this art. 
Yeah. And the main reason, as I said, I have a few factors. And the main reason to why I had to switch was one. Remember when we were getting endorsements and stuff, I have a manager. When, uh, when we used to go into meetings, talking to clients and stuff, they used to say, okay, you're asking us for this price of money, but you're putting in nothing in your art. Yeah, like it was always the camera, the background voice, and me seated in the same position, talking. Yeah, but if you show someone, I always look out for location, I hire cars, I bring in ladies and pay them to act with me and stuff, they will give you the budget. I think that's the main reason why I had to switch. But ever since I switched, the money is coming in because it's, uh, I also have a budget I give out to people. TikTok and similar platforms are providing avenues for monetization that were previously inaccessible to young creators. Through features like brand partnerships, sponsored content, and even direct donations from followers, content creators like Mike are transforming their passion into a sustainable source of income. I would say I've got some good money from TikTok. Through endorsements, uh, I'm monetized on TikTok. I get money from my content, whatever content I post, at least I get some money. I get money from video gifts. I get money from uh, gifts on lives. There is a lot of money on that app. I've, uh, last week I signed an endorsement with Nisa Cosmetics. It was worth 50M. Yeah, 50 million. I'm serious. TikTok career, I have a lot, man. A lot. I would say a lot. Yeah, I have a... I have a uh, okay, I'm sorry to say this. I have an endorsement with Buganda Kombucha. It was worth 75M. Yeah. That goes back to what I told you. How do you brand yourself? Yeah, because I believe if you have Google and you say who's the best TikToker in Uganda, Mickey will come first. How do you brand yourself? Yeah, so I was seated at my home, so a client called in. How are you? Are you, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. We want to put you on our, it was Fanta, Fanta Africa, but the offices were in Kenya. So yeah, they, they got me a ticket. I had to go there and we talk. I came back. When I went back, I signed and I came back. Then for Nigeria, uh, they came straight to my email. Uh, that's one expert, Nigeria. This financial independence not only allows them to pursue their creative endeavors full time, but also offers a gateway to a better quality of life. You know, when you get an international deal, that's when you know your work. That's why I no longer just got work and stuff because someone is offering me 1M a month, 2M or 3M. No. I would say the last money one expert has given me is 5,000 US dollars and it's only for three months. It's because they know your worth. When they see the numbers and when you're getting them the clients, I mean, why not? They will give you the money because they get good returns and stuff. But in Uganda, uh, but I also don't blame the Uganda market because they are trying out something new, something they are not used to. You know, we always go to meetings and stuff and you get to meet the client and you'd be like, okay, who's this one? Ah, this one is called Mickey Seems Too Funny. He has good numbers. He has worked with quite a big number of brands. And you will be like, ah, ah, the Jagala TV, you see? So it's the marketing team to, to dig in more and prove to the, to the main boss that you're worth it. But again, also, this goes back to my tic fellow TikTokers, yeah? When you, have to, when you get a chance and sign with a brand, please put in your all. The problem when they give them money, they turn into wild cats. They don't want to work, they don't put up work in time and stuff, you see? It's, it's a total turn off. TikTok is democratizing creativity by shifting the focus away from traditional gatekeepers. In the past, aspiring artists, comedians, or performers often face barriers imposed by traditional entertainment industries. Now, anyone with a smartphone and a unique talent can capture the world's attention. This democratization is empowering individuals like Mike, who might have been overlooked by conventional media outlets, to share their creativity and gain recognition on their terms. Mike has been able to connect, collaborate, and support other young creators. His ability to collaborate with fellow creators has amplified his reach and diversified his content. For the first example I'm giving out, let's look at these kids. The kids have changed lives. Uh, you, you can tell when you go on my first skits I did with them and the latest ones, you will see a big difference. At least I believe everyone, uh, everyone now has a permit, everyone has a passport. Bro, I, I've tried. First of all, Okumu Mitinga, 
nali njagala mukuba it was nali mu group ngatwagala mukuba ngatwagala mu jako sente first meeting ne musa sente muga twagala ku sente na rugamba sente zaachi muri bana bato mugene mukolechi mukole since i manage art uh, I, I started watching Mickey uh, during lockdown and I started loving what he does and do, since uh, I was more focused on music uh, music or art in music I was managing my artists and they were all down they couldn't perform anywhere so we were looking for ways of selling out our art and at that time TikTok was selling art so I got interested in trying out a new thing. So that's when I started contacting Mickey. I started talking to him about different projects and how we can work together. Uh, in that, we develop more art. If not, we develop uh, the industry. And yeah. I also have a few at school. I pay, I pay school fees for a few. Yeah, they are in boarding school. I don't have a lot, but I believe if I can provide for fake for a kid like him, when he gets that big money, you know money is fun. Money can trace anyone anywhere. At least he can maybe help my kids or he will also help someone. Yeah, so for me, I, I believe in helping people, man. I don't have a lot, I repeat that, but at least I make sure whatever kid you're seeing around me eats food every day. They get uh, clothes and stuff. Yeah, I, I believe I have impacted quite a good number of kids. To everyone who supports Mickey, it seems too funny, I would say, and my family, because um, I'm ain't alone. Thank you so much. And uh, I believe I'll also say this. Uh, in whatever you do, you young man or young woman out there, please don't you lose God. Focus on life. Cheap things are expensive. This goes to you girls. I understand Mugenda Kumfuma, but cheap things are expensive, yeah? You should date that young man and build a life. Sugar daddies are sick. Eh, mwekume. denying that TikTok is a real game changer and Mick seems to find you has just shown you how it all works. Tech Connect will take a short break and return. safety laws start to bite for TikTok, Instagram, and others. 19 major platforms such as Facebook or TikTok face the most stringent rules which include having plans in place to protect children and stop election interference. Breaches could lead to a fine of 6% turnover and potential suspension of the service. Researchers at the University of Exeter are to begin a new study into the effectiveness of high-tech socks that could prevent falls and illness in people living with dementia. The so-called smart socks invention automatically collects data from sensors in the sock material before automatically sending it via Wi-Fi to an app used by a carer. Now it's time for Unboxed, where we give you an in-depth review of cool tech stuff. Welcome back. Coming up is Unboxed, where we give you an in-depth and hands-on review of new tech products. I'm joined by Dr. Nyombi, Senior Gynecologist at Roswell Women and Children's Hospital. Dr. Nyombi is going to take us through the first wireless labor monitoring system in East Africa. Now, Dr. Nyombi, before we get into this technology, why don't you first take us through what the prenatal rate is in Uganda and you know what the leading causes for this are? All right, thank you, Tracy. Um, we face a very big challenge as practitioners of people taking care of mothers and children. Uh, the, the mortality rate, the perinatal mortality rate is still very high. It accounts for, because there are statistics done in the DHS, that is uh, the statistics for the medical uh, the medical statistics between 2017 and 2021, it accounted to about to over 130 deaths per live births of uh, the perinatal deaths. 
those are babies that are uh, that die inside the uterus or go die immediately after they are born, and that's approximately 53 percent of, uh, of all births in that period. So that's why we, as Roswell Women and Children Hospital, we 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 found this, uh, which we which we think is a very important tool in the management of, of labor to reduce on this mortality rate. So this is a, a high-end technology equipment that monitors the mother and the baby, but mainly focusing on the baby. Majority of the monitoring of the mother can be done without this, but still, as you're monitoring the baby, you, you want to be very sure that the mother is also okay, because the condition of the mother will affect the outcome of the baby. And then also the beauty of it is, uh, as you can see, it has so many points. It allows you to monitor so many mothers at the same time. As you can see, this tracing here, currently there is a mother uh, being monitored. This tracing is giving you the fetal heart, the baby's heart fluctuations. Where you see the green zone is the normal ranges of the heartbeat. The moment it goes beyond uh, or below, then it's cause for alarm. Of course, there are a few explanations why sometimes it may go below, especially when it's not well positioned. It may slide off, yeah, but yes, it will alert you when it goes below, then you find out why it's below. We'll now take another break and return shortly. Welcome back. In this week's tech guide, we show you how to make the most of TikTok. The second sure way to make money? Go ahead and plug your content creation services from TikTok into your already existing services. Go ahead and bill for it as well. This will provide added value, provide higher impact, and even more impact for your overall campaign. So you can get this, pitch it to your new clients in a new way of executing. You don't have to leave this specifically for, con uh, for content on TikTok only. You can get this and plug it into whatever you're already executing and provide a presence for that thing on TikTok. For the rest of the tips that you need for how to execute, always stay in touch and informed Always try out the trends. There are ways you can study. There are ways you can find TikTok videos about TikTok, about new trends. There are always templates for you to use. There are always things on the sounds so that you need to, you find out what you need to know about the sound and how to use it. Always remember your brand as you're doing all of this. So some trends don't work for some brands. Some templates don't work for some brands. And some are just right and perfect. And then I would like to conclude by reminding all of you that these digital platforms have health and well-being sections. These sections help you keep up and keep healthy as you use these digital platforms. These sections, I'm going to repeat that. I'd like to remind all of you that all these apps have health and well-being sections. These sections help you keep healthy as you use these platforms. They'll help have sleep timers. They'll help remind you when you can take time off your app or come back. They'll help prevent you from seeing content that's not fitting for you or that you would prefer not to see and they'll help protect your children as they use and navigate these platforms. Make sure to use them. That's all for this week. Make sure you tune in again next time so you can stay ahead of the curve and get connected to the future with Tech Connect. Goodbye.